What's up, Collective? Welcome back to my channel. There are new readings on the channel, Collective. All right. Um, let's get into this reading. Uh, I shuffled uh, some cards from the last reading because I just felt like there was something that needed to come out of that deck, but the reading was getting so long. So when I shuffled and pulled again, two sets of energy came out. Two sets of energies came out. And... Um, we have You Can Trust Me Dieting and You Are Getting Stronger House Rental. All right, so let's get into this reading here. Um, this over here to the right, Dieting has been coming out. It came out in the last reading. But the... The energy behind this card is somebody is trying to oust someone using food, okay? Um, or somebody is dieting. They're not eating at all. And it could be, it's like starvation. Like somebody could be starving themselves or just not eating. And then we have this energy over here. You're getting stronger. Somebody's getting stronger here. House rental is here. So let's see what's going on. Let's pull a few decks and see what's going on. Okay. Hmm. All right, give me a card for... So, somebody could have done something to a loved one using their diet or something that they were eating. Okay, you could have lost somebody that you trusted. Somebody said you could trust me and there was doing something to their food. And now this person is being banished. You disown this person. You could, you could know that this person did something but they're exiled out of your life and shamed, okay? This could have been someone in your family or maybe somebody you, you thought you could trust or this, this person who was lost thought that they could trust them. Give me two more cards for dieting and you can trust me. back to my channel uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for two to five free general readings every day that you're gonna resonate with all right collect let's get into this here we have a money handler somebody who wanted to handle somebody's money somebody was a little obsessed with someone's money here um hmm, a pimp energy here so now somebody's building a case, Something somebody's constructing a case against this, you can trust me person, okay? Somebody said, you could trust me to handle your money. You could trust me to handle something, possibly some type of inheritance or when somebody passed, okay? Somebody said, you could trust me. I can handle this, okay? But now somebody's building a case and somebody is banished and, and, and disowned here. Somebody could be very materialistic, be into handbags and shoes. Um, they could have done this for handbags and shoes, or this is something that they're kind of fascinated with. They could be a very materialistic person, into jewelry and shit like that. Okay, this could have motivated this person to do that. Give me, give me two, uh, some cards for you are getting stronger house rental. All right, we have water disaster here. Hmm. Rebel, somebody's rebelling against this water disaster. This maybe a water sign in reverse, doing some bad things and they're obsessed. An obsessive lover, somebody's rebelling and getting stronger. And then we have artist, professional model, hobbyist, collector. 
somebody is rebelling getting stronger this artist okay they're standing up they're not conforming to this uh the tsunami this flood this person somebody could have drowned that could be relevant something could have happened on a boat on the water somebody could be renting a home and and moving on with their life here um from this excessive jealous person could have water placements doesn't have to be could be relevant so this would be somebody who's jealous and obsessive that someone is moving on from all right let's um let's pull some other cards here some cards for uh you can trust me money handler building a case against something lost loved one dieting banishment what happened over here what happened over here somebody was watching someone like a movie here 54 or 45 could be significant. Somebody was watching someone like a movie here. Someone could like cats. Someone could uh, have light colored hair. Doesn't have to be. Someone could have blue eyes. Blue could be significant. Um, somebody could be watching you in your sleep or in your dreams. Uh, yeah. See, there's some sort of transfer of energy going on back here. Something weird is going on. Uh, somebody's watching the eyes here. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's watching. Stalking. Mm. Intuition in reverse. Okay. Somebody wanted to uh, reverse someone's intuition so that they can trust them or uh, like kind of block this person's. It's like, if you don't have intuition, you don't have this um, this sixth sense to, to tell you when somebody's doing something wrong to you or something, you know? Somebody wanted to uh, interfere with that. So they were stalking you, maybe your dreams. They were doing something. What was this person doing here? This watch like a movie person. We have 28 and 82 could be relevant. Okay, what, what was this person doing? Give me something for death here. What's going on with this death? What happened? Positive affirmations. 41 or 14 or 5 or 10 or 9 could be significant. Somebody did not want someone. Um, you have negative Libra, negative Taurus. And Virgo. Stalking someone here and not wanting someone to be positive. Not wanting someone to love themselves so that they would pass away. Okay? Someone could have been sick here. And it's like all this person needed to do was not have any hope. And not feel good about themselves. And maybe that would have. They said maybe if that person's intuition is cut off and they can't, you know, they can't feel good. That'll end them. Okay, so somebody was manipulating someone to make them feel this way. That's that's the murder right there. Okay, the manipulation, the one behind the veil. The psychopath. Okay, somebody started to make an altar here. Somebody was preparing for something. Somebody was thinking about their ancestors. They were thinking about somebody who passed on. Somebody began to think about dying. Somebody is looking at someone who's passed on. Okay? Male or female. Somebody could also be trying to tap into this person now that they've now that they're gone. A couple of different things could be going on here. This could be your this could be you talking to your your ancestor that's now passed on. And um 16 or 61 could be relevant, or someone could have been in their 60s. 
their 20s, their 40s, their 50s. Um, seven could be relevant. But something's going on with ancestors. And somebody did not want someone to feel good or something. You know, they, they're manipulating this person intuitively um, to feel bad by watching and stalking them. This is some type of spiritual monitoring going on. Okay, somebody was monitoring someone. Mm. Let's see what's going on on the left here. Give me something for you, a stronger house rental, rebel, artist, hobbyist, collector, professional. And then this jealous psychopath here. All right. So ancestors are flowing in here. Ancestors are watching over this person and possibly helping them get stronger and, and helping them rebel and become active when it comes to uh, getting this energy out of their life is what I see here. Then we have meditation. Somebody could be meditating. They could be spiritually communicating with their ancestors. Okay. We have sweet treats. Somebody could be um, baking, doing something, some kind of a hobby that makes them feel good or thinking about it. Somebody's thinking about something here. Somebody could be manifesting some type of business or starting something to do with food. Okay. And then we have somebody sacrificing animals. So this obsessive person who could be a chef or somebody who bakes or cooks could be a maid, could be someone who does this here. This person looks like they're, somebody could be Latina or they could look like this. Something about a house. Something could have happened in a house with this person here. Somebody was sacrificed. Something happened with animals. A sacrifice of animals could have happened, or something could have happened with animals that was in reverse. Okay. Um, let's see what's going on here. All right, let's see what the book can tell us about what's going on here. We have judgment. Okay, somebody's under judgment. 109 or 10 or 1 could be significant. We have 48, 84, 35 or 53, 50, 8, 5, 12 and 3. And then we have... 24 and 6 or 42. These numbers could be relevant. Um, let's see here. When the judgment card appears in the upright, this is a wake up call from the universe. And you are now ready to step into a new phase of your maturing process. Somebody here should be maturing. It's possible this person is doing that here. Uh, your life is fairly settled now and you are letting things grow and mature at a steady pace, not trying to hurry the process. So that's what I see here, divine timing. Um, a new phase in your life is coming into being as a natural result of your maturity. That's exactly what's going on here. Um, like a tree that has gone through the flowering stage, bears fruits as the product of its maturity. You may get important news that will prove beneficial or you may acquire new knowledge that will bring you joy and a sense of fulfillment. Health improves and problems are easily solved. So that's that's one way to look at the judgment card uh, pertaining to this uh, layout here. And then in reverse, something is going on in reverse here. There's some reverse shit going on. Um, this says interior biological and psychological factors are at work and you have little or no control over them these people may be thinking about making some changes which are being signaled by these inner timing mechanisms this process may be throwing you into a state of confusion and these people may not be sure on how to handle what is happening um, they're facing a new phase in their life and they're trying they need to make peace with it Somebody's guilty here of something. Um, they might be called to grow up. 
It could also indicate frustrating delays and postponements, a materialistic view of life. Like I said, somebody is very materialistic here. They refuse to take charge, um, possible loss or separation, and the need to cope with these life changes. So something, somebody's life changed here. Um, somebody could have lost someone and they changed their life. I see somebody who's being stalked before they were before they died. I see somebody who, who manipulated somebody's death too. They had a lot to do with it behind the scenes and they were using some type of spell work to do it. And then I see um, something going on with this person who cooks or bakes or something and in a house rental or a house and something happened with animals, either sacrifice or Animal attack comes out sometimes in this deck. Um, something in reverse happened with animals. It wasn't good. Um, this person is obsessed, okay? This this experience is make this person crazy. Something could have happened on a boat on the water as well. Somebody could be a water sign in reverse or be associated with some type of water energy. All right, let's move on into what is going on here. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm hot. Ugh. All right, give me something on this. Uh, make an altar, intuition in reverse, positive affirmations in reverse. Watching you like a movie. You can trust me. What's going on here? We have somebody who works hard here. And then we have a fucking criminal. Okay? We got a very, very bad person here. Somebody needs to come clean about what they did to somebody here. Somebody who, who could have Virgo placements. Um, this could be a father. This could be a brother. This could be uncle. But this is a man, I would say maybe 40s to 60s. This person works a lot, okay? Maybe towards the end of this person's life, they were working a lot. They like to work, okay? And somebody was watching this person work here, all right? This person could have had like a lot of uh, inheritance or some type of money set aside for when they retired or something. This is somebody who who, who has, has a lot of years of work under their belt, okay? Yeah, eight of pentacles here. This person works eight days a week. They, this is a hardworking person, okay? And then we have this jackass here, knight of swords in reverse, stalking this person with this page of swords energy. So we have negative Capricorn Aquarius, air, negative Aquarius. We could have water. I'm picking up water energy here as well. Somebody could have water in their places. Mini could be significant. The, the name Mini could be significant for someone here. Um, a baby could be significant. A newborn could be significant. Um, tattoos could be significant. Now, this person here is, is keeping some secrets about this person here. Okay. They're keeping some secrets about this person. Let's see. Yeah, we have um, water energy, but in this case, it's water and earth. It's in reverse. So this person is a water sign as well. Okay. And they are, um, they're very immature. This person is a dork. What this also shows me is that this person is doing some wicked things in the imagination of somebody here with the Page of Cups in reverse, okay? This is about imagination. It's about um, dreaming, okay? Somebody was dreaming here. Creative opportunity. Somebody was an artist here. Somebody was a creative. And um, this person was watching this person. This person was contacting this person in their dream state, okay? Maybe with other people. 
some type of spiritual work was being done on this person and they may not have known about it. Yeah. So we have uh, the sun card here. We have positive fire energy. And I, I just said a baby could be relevant. And here is the baby. Um, this is multiple uh, timelines that I'm picking up on. It's not just one person. It's not one scenario so only take what resonates with you um somebody was very happy though somebody could have been having a rebirth this er this person who works very hard um and this is the perfect energy for these low lives okay somebody could have been healing here give me more on this rebirth and this uh eight of pentacles Okay, somebody was weak and then they weren't. Okay, so somebody had some type of healing, some type of rebirth. And, and perhaps this person had fire in their placements or they were tapping into this fire element of themselves. And they were, they, they were, they were having fun. Like somebody was in, somebody was outside a lot. Somebody could have been walking outside. They could have been feeling like a baby again, feeling young again. Okay, um, and very happy. And uh, somebody who was weak, somebody who was weak needed that. Somebody who was weak needed that. They needed this person's vitality. Yeah. This fire sign in reverse. Mm. They were watching. Somebody was watching this person. Okay. Negative Scorpio on fire right here. Mm -hmm. So... This 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 person here has been on 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 the channel before this energy, okay. Um, a charter school could be significant. So, this person here is weak and avoiding a tower. This fire Scorpio energy Aries possibly is avoiding a tower, and they see somebody here who is happy. They heal. Somebody healed here. And um, that is, that's attractive to these people. That's very attractive to someone here. So um, this person was experiencing delays, collapses in their life, and they're avoiding all of this. And they can, they can get past it by sacrificing someone. And that's what they did. Okay, so they started shopping. This is definitely fire Scorpio energy that's doing this here. They were shopping and they were using these people to do it too. Okay, this is a criminal here. This Capricorn Aquarius in reverse has some criminal tendencies. Okay, and um, they couldn't sacrifice someone. They couldn't sacrifice someone. This negative Aquarius energy couldn't sacrifice someone. So they needed to sacrifice someone is what I see here. Hmm. They They needed to reconcile with someone. So maybe they made peace with someone here. Mm. Queen of Cups in reverse, Taurus. We have positive earth energy, strong here. That's just, again, focus on the on the coin, not really bothering anyone. And somebody is stalking this person. So they sent this, so, okay, so this Aquarius in reverse couldn't do it by themselves, so they needed to send in reinforcements. So this then they sent in this Queen of Cups in reverse energy, okay? But the truth is coming out about something here. Yeah. So it's like, it's, there's interference. A tower. There's the interference. A disaster. So basically, somebody was supposed to sacrifice someone who couldn't do it. So they kept sending in, they sending these other people here. This negative Aquarius water. This, this, I, I see a, a female Aquarius water and a male Aquarius water maybe, or... Something like that. And uh, negative fire, of course, with water needed. I think this person needed it and these other people were working underneath them. Because again, this person just likes to celebrate party and bullshit. So that, that, that's, this, that, that's why this person sacrifices people so that they could live this lifestyle of, of partying and having a good time all the time. That's what they like to do. That's why they sacrifice people. So then somebody must have brought this bitch into the picture here, this Queen of Swords in reverse, this negative Virgo Libra energy. 
Okay, this is this is one of the wickedest ones on the channel. So somebody got in touch with this energy to kind of maybe they were just struggling with sacrificing this energy. This Taurus energy, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay, somebody has a Ten of Pentacles in their future and somebody wants that. Okay, this is how these people survive is by stealing spiritually. Okay, and by sacrificing people. Somebody has, also has a new love, marriage. Okay, possibly with a water energy. There we go, confirmation. So somebody sees that somebody's future is laid out for them. Okay. Somebody sees that somebody's future is made out for them. A name that starts with M could be significant. A first, middle, or last name could be that starts with M could be significant. Um, yeah. So somebody was a. Uh, in a state of homelessness or poverty and despair and needed energy. They needed to have sex with this person. A Taurus maybe. So they convinced, this person here contacted this Taurus energy who's in despair and said, look, I got a job for you. Maybe you could fuck this person and get us all what this person has. Basically, that's what these people do. If they can't do it, they're going to keep trying to find somebody else to do it and then, and then bind to that person so that they can all take from them at the same time. But the more people they let in, the more it gets kind of spread thin. So they try to just work with less people, but sometimes they just can't do it. But that's what I see here. This person has energy. So they reach out to Queen of Cups. This could be this person's counterpart. That this king of pentacles in reverse could be sort of obsessed with here kind of or very extremely negative virgo and leo energy says there's the queen of cups that i want as well because they, they they could be attached to this energy somehow so they're all here just saying okay so you you we're gonna work on these people here we need to have sex with them basically for their energy and do and do rituals so we can have a three of cups life and that put this bitch in poverty as well okay it put this bitch in poverty too because this is not how you fucking gain. Yeah. All it did was mess them up, uh, make them possessed and greedy and homeless. Barren. Some of them, I'm hearing barren. Somebody could have lost their ability to have children or something. Um, but they needed to take care of themselves. But instead they were trying to steal. And they used this negative Capricorn Sagittarius energy as well. Okay, so they, they were really pulling in a lot of people. So this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this Capricorn Sagittarius in reverse could know this person here. Okay, again, they're reaching out spiritually to see who they can pull on board. Okay, and it just happens to be that these people are connected somehow. Okay, because they, they both have people in their lives that are bad. And the devil is using these people and congregating them together. Now let's move over here to... If something more needs to come out about this, it will. Give me more in this house rental, animals in reverse, the, the, uh, the rebel, the meditation, the ancestor, the artist, the obsessive. What's going on here? Of course. Okay. The psycho here. Negative Taurus. Virgo and Libra, okay? Obsessed here. All right, with the Magician, we have positive Gemini energy tapping into the willpower, getting clarity. We have positive Taurus here. All right, and then we also have negative Cancer. So we have a couple of people down here. Uh, karmics, all right? Not doing good, lazy, greedy. Uh, trying to get this person into some sort of indulgent orgy, sex, uh, gossip, and bullshit. Because they're restless. Their life is falling apart here. They're obsessed and they're trapped. And this person is evolving and moving on. And that's causing multiple towers for each person. Okay. this Especially this witch over here. This negative Virgo energy is a liar. A betrayer. They thought they had the upper hand here. Um, they thought they had the upper hand. But somebody is taking this person to court possibly. And... Um, 
they're not sharing anything with this person, okay? This person still has their wealth. They're still a very giving person, very charitable and very loving and very wealthy. And these people did not get this person's money. They try to sacrifice this person here so that they could have public reward and success, but they don't have it. Mm -hmm. They lost opportunity, all right? Because all this excessive force going on here. Now you could also be hearing from this person soon as well. They could be traveling or making uh, quick decisions or um, reaching out or sending some sort of message or um, communication through the air, which is like telepathy or spiritual intuitive communication. It's possible as well. Okay. But they were also doing something down here with excessive force and that made them lose opportunity excessively. <laughs> It's like these people don't understand when you do magic like that, it's going to come back to you in that same excessive force. It's going to come back to you just as fast and, and, and passionately as you were doing it. It's going to smack your ass over the head, okay, because it's not going to touch these people. These people are insane. All right, give me more on this house rental and this animal card in reverse would happen here. Somebody wanted someone to experience, somebody did not want to, um, somebody was going to be under judgment. Negative fire energy, somebody with negative fire placements is going to be under judgment. They could have been going to court with this person again. The scales are here, so something with money and it was involved with court here with the judgment in reverse again. But this person got involved with some, some negative energy. Red hair could be significant. Now, somebody wanted... This, uh, we have Scorpio energy, we have Magician energy, which is Gemini. Somebody wanted this energy to be uh, having loss and grief because they were facing judgment. Yeah, they're going to be under oath here, all right? But this person doesn't have any defense, all right? They're not looking so hot. They're not doing so well. They're very disconnected and they need to be reevaluated. Re this card says they need to be reevaluated. Um because they're working with this bitch right here, this psychopath. So they could have did something concerning these animals, um, either sacrifice or again, some sort of reverse thing that happened with animals. It could be an attack. It could be, I mean, what else can animals really do to you, right? They could attack you. They could bite you. Um, somebody could have kidnapped an animal or abused an animal. Something something bad with animals happened in reverse um, because of this person right here. This person had a lot to do with it. They could have done something. This card is about mind control. This this hermit card in reverse next, they did something from a distance to these animals. Okay, so it's very possible that they could have they could have possessed these animals. It's possible. It's possible. Because something was disconnected and um, in a state of meditation. So when you're in a state of meditation, you under some type of I mean, you, you're, you're, you're tapping into your subconscious mind. So somebody could have tapped into the subconscious mind of somebody here. And, and, and I, I have channeled this energy possessing people. So why wouldn't they possess an animal? They do it. They possess animals. The animal card is in fucking reverse, just like this person here. So they did something isolated in, in a way. Now, somebody could have lost their way. This card is about losing their losing losing one's way. What happened? What is this? What did this person do to the animals besides try to disconnect them from themselves, which would make room for this person to possess them? It's like this is the animal here, which is this person by the tree, and somebody's saying stop or trying to get this animal's attention, and it's not working. What happened to these animals? What did this person do to the animals? What happened to the animals? What did the animals do? Okay, we have negative Taurus, Aries energy. Discipline. Something happened with the discipline of the animal. Somebody felt stuck with this animal or something is what I'm getting. 
something was kept kept coming back and doing something over and over again. Something was done repeatedly with this animal. Ancestor was here. Something got out of control with the animals, with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Something got out of control here. And we do have some animals here. Can you see them? But it came out in reverse. So these animals are in reverse. It could be a dog or like a... See, some, some type of animal here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So an animal could have lost control. And it made somebody feel regretful about something. Five of Cups again, have loss or grief. Somebody did this with the intention for somebody to have loss. I honestly think this Hermit in Reverse is known for doing... This Queen of Swords in Reverse and this Hermit in Reverse is known for doing spell work with a disconnection card. Somebody was disconnected here. They they lost their stability. The animal could have lost their stability to have any sort of discipline with uh, these other cards here. And this negative Taurus had something to do with it. Again, four cups. Somebody had a sudden awareness. Yeah, somebody was attacked here. Some type of fight or brawl happened here. Somebody was attacked, possibly. Or something with violence happened. Something, somebody could have abused an animal or hit an animal. Somebody could have been trying to give this animal something. I see somebody giving this animal something and maybe the animal not taking it. They were outside. Somebody was outside. And then somebody had a sudden awareness and attacked somebody. You see an animal right here? I can't make it up. This is the animal that was disconnected from this person or just disconnected or not really into this person or something. Didn't want something from them. And then the animal has some type of sudden awareness and made a decision. And then something happened here. Something Maybe somebody attacked this animal. Somebody hit the animal or something or vice versa or something Something with with, with hitting or some type of body contact happened but somebody could have get, given the animal something because i see somebody giving this and then it came out again then the animal had a sudden awareness something happened the animal could even be a water sign it's possible um but somebody's a fire sign something happened with a fire sign here Yeah, some type of painful <laughs> child. Something happened with a water sign and somebody had a painful ending. Someone walked away or didn't see something. Somebody's back was turned and somebody had a painful ending or something like that happened. That's crazy. Um, hmm. Let's get to the letter deck. Let's just get two more cards on this and then I'm going to get to the letter deck. Animals. I can't. Oh my God. Look at that. Crazy. So somebody was some animal in an oppression here. In domestic. Some type of domestic violence or some type of. I feel like somebody hurt an animal. Like I just feel like somebody hurt this animal and was trying to give them something and then the animal had like some type of awareness about something and they didn't and then something happened, like a retaliation happened. They were trying to oppress the animal or something. Something somebody was trying to oppress this animal or something. This could have something to do with religion. Again, the cult. So somebody did something to this animal and I think the animal retaliated and then somebody had a pain from that, that person didn't win this fight here with the animal. I think the animal was defending itself. Somebody was trying to do something like put something, give them, give them something or do something to them with their hand. Um, 
is what I see here. Um, let's get the letter deck and see if we can find out anything else. This reading is getting long, 39 minutes. Still watching the video collective definitely go ahead and like and subscribe um so let's get into another deck here and see what's going on let's see what else comes out hmm. let's see i feel like something's going to come out of the letter deck to confirm some of this information dieting hmm doing something to somebody's food oh look at that like maybe the person was like saying to the dog you could trust me just like the, the photograph in the car you could trust me okay but maybe the dog was like I, I, I might this bitch trying to kill me that's what I think somebody was saying you could trust me that's what the that's what the picture looks like it's saying like the thing handing handing it to you could trust me and the dog was like just <laughs> was like, nah, I can't trust you. You're trying to kill me. The dog picked up on something. They had a sudden awareness because the card came out again in the reverse, meaning something different happened. Something took place here. Somebody was trying to hurt that dog. Somebody was trying to sacrifice the dog. Oh, my God. Somebody was trying to give something to the dog to sacrifice them. And the dog realized it like this is not right. Something is not right here about this. And could have retaliated okay and then the ancestor came out it's like this dog has some type of spiritual consciousness okay but you can trust me and that card means you cannot trust them so the dog did not trust this person uh, animal sacrifice was trying to be taking place here and somebody could have been somebody could have been trying to sacrifice this animal through this hermit energy the hermit energy said, give the dog this because the, the hermit wants to sacrifice that animal through somebody else. And the dog said, not today, bitch. Not today. Tap that motherfucker. Get out of here. Yeah, the ancestor card came out. So somebody, the dog had some type of awakening. Something suddenly happened. And the dog said, oh, hell no, you're trying to kill me. 15, 32, 64, 52. An age could be here, somebody, 68, 30, 91. You could reverse these numbers or add them together. 96, 76, 42. What is here? No vowels. Let's see what's here. We have bow, bow. Hmm. Bow down. Hmm. Somebody whose initials could be could be involved here. P. Yeah, for sure. Somebody wanted to sacrifice somebody animal child. On this channel, that's all these motherfuckers do. I mean, the animal card came out again out of this deck. Like, this is confirmation. There's too much confirmation. Hmm. And they're suppressing vowels. U is here. M. Yeah. You might have to pull out. Okay, we got A and U. A could be significant. June could be significant. Something could have happened in June. A Gemini could be significant. Um, money. Money. Somebody could have paid somebody to do this to give the dog something. Somebody could have paid somebody to give the dog something so that the dog would die and then they would be sacrificing that dog. 
It sounds very much like something these crazy ass people would do. I'm telling you, these people are fucking crazy. Honey, I saw Honey on the TV earlier, so Honey could be significant. Um, Shepherd, Shepherd. Um, Why is here? High school. Puny, Sunni, Gun, Guan, hmm. Jay is here. PM is here. Something could have happened in the evening. Um, shunned. Yeah, somebody is shunned. The banishment card came out. Confirmation. This is somebody who you shunned out of your life doing this crazy shit. Um, let me see what comes out. E. Okay, we got another value. Faye. This Faye. I'm telling you, something's wrong with this Faye person. I don't know. It keeps coming out. Okay, this GG is here again. GG, something is going on with that letter here. I can feel it. Um, hmm. A gun. Hmm. What did she give this this dog? The food. Something to do with the food. F U D E is here. Food. Um, I think they try to put something in the dog food, but what did they try to do? It don't matter. I don't think the dog ate it. Hain heinous is here. Heinous. Something heinous. They was trying to do something heinous to this animal. I think it was a dog. Dag is here. Doug. Doug. Jew, Jew could be significant, jewelry, humane society, the, the animals could have came from the humane society, Again, Matt is here. M is significant. M, M, A. Somebody's a witch here. 10, 46, 19, and 85. Somebody pay somebody money to do this, whatever it is they were paid to do it. Somebody found this funny pump Pompey Yoon Many Many or Mini Four of Wands in reverse. So somebody lost a home or something, or they lost some residence, or this could have taken a place at a residence. Five of Pentacles in reverse, and this person is trying to recover now. Negative fire energy is trying to recover. 
Okay, they could have did this to try to recover or they need to recover. If something happens at a home with the four of wands here, they don't have any support anymore. They don't have any support at home or something. They could be homeless. Um, fawn could be significant. Fawny. Shawnee. Sean. Guyana. Guy. Who? Who? Wana. The magician. Okay. Positive Gemini energy is here. Three of Wands in reverse. This person cannot expand. They cannot move forward. This fire sign in reverse is struggling. Um, Jose. San Juan. Somebody could be from San Juan or Jose. Uh, could be a name. Five of Swords. This person was willing to do anything but somebody saw something, somebody was watching someone do something, somebody was in the background watching this person do something and somebody was trying to hide or cover up what they were doing here. Yeah. But somebody saw them or somebody was watching them do something and they're trying to, they're trying to cover their back, okay? Noisy, noise. Noise is significant. Um, some type of noise was happening why is here twice some type of noise was happening s is here twice neo could be significant Family, family did this. Somebody in your family could have had something to do with this. They could be here. Yeah, 10 of cups in reverse. Okay, so this is family, wow. Oh my goodness, can't make it up. All right, six of wands in reverse. So th this, this family, they're no longer Maybe you're no longer publicly uh, being seen with them or something's not happening in the public anymore with this family or you're, you're you like I said, you shun this family like they, they're they're off into the like the dark or something like you're no longer associated with these people. Oh, Cards are flying. Funeral. Funeral could be significant. Can I have a funeral? Queen of Swords in reverse. Nine of Swords. Somebody's in jail or prison. Seven of Pentacles is negative Earth. Negative Libra energy. We got Gemini energy here. Knight of Wands is usually in reverse. But next to the death card, somebody could be having an ending here. Um, this Queen of Swords in reverse that is isolated somewhere. Give me more clarity on this death card, please. I could count this Knight of Wands as in reverse here, okay? Again, there is some type of communication going on between these people. Jail, Eight of Swords. So, two cards about imprisonment here. Then we have Three of Cups and Three of Pentacles. Three and Three here. 
So somebody is mastering, working together and, and celebrating and, and going to be coming together here while somebody goes to jail. This fire sign is going to be going to prison, I feel like, for something because it's like they keep messing with this, this negative earth sign. It's like that's what's causing all of this here. Um, a, a, a funeral could happen or a, a funeral could be relevant. But death card, the death card did come out here and then the prison came out. So. But then I see, you know, people working together here after <laughs> somebody is going to be celebrating and working together. So it's like there's going to be an ending. Funeral could be literal or figurative, but some type of ending is taking place when these people get locked away and it's going to bring happiness and togetherness here in community. Ace of Cups, somebody could be getting married or celebrating something. And uh, they could be trying to tempt somebody out of doing that with the Two of Swords here. But this person already released the devil, so they're not tempting anybody out of anything. They're just tempting themselves. This uh, negative Taurus energy is trying to bother this Eight of Pentacles, all right, and this Empress energy. They're trying to bother this energy here. Somebody could be having a baby. It could be a faded um, pregnancy here with the Wheel of Fortune with the High Priestess. Okay, so we have the Empress. We have the High Priestess. We have positive Earth energy. All right, and we have Ace of Swords. Clarity. Okay, this is the truth here. This is what's happening. And these people are, uh, they can't see it. Their judgment is clouded. They're, they're having problems here. But I think, um, what is that? Men, men, manos, mano, minus, take away something. They could have taken away something from the dog. They could have given something to the dog or they could have taken something away from the dog as well, depending on who this is, what dog is here. Um, DJ is here. Schenectady could be relevant. Spam. Pam. Panama. Pamela. Hmm. Honduras. Could be relevant. All right. So I, I, I feel like that's what happened here. It's just, it was a lot. Hopefully this helps somebody. I'll see you on the next reading.